checking linear assumption for continuous predictor in STATA when performing binary logistic regression. Binary logistic regression is a statistical method that can be used to find out whether there is association between two variables. One of the variable is the outcome and the other variable is the predictor. For binary logistic regression, the outcome have to be binary or binomial, uh, such as uh, life dead or uh, male or females. And for the predictor, it can be continuous, categorical or ordinal. For using a continuous predictor uh, variable uh, in building up or constructing a regression model, certain assumption have to be met for using a continuous predictor and that assumption is that there should be a linear association between the outcome and the continuous predictor to check and examine uh, the continuous predictor and to see whether it satisfy the assumption for performing a binary logistic regression uh, then a uh, uh, hypothesis has to be generated. The null hypothesis will state that there is a linear relationship between the continuous predictor and an outcome. And an alternative hypothesis will state that there is no linear relationship between continuous predictor and outcome. Uh, which means that uh, the predictor deviate from linearity with the outcome uh, such as a relationship which is non-linear like the quadratic, cubic, logarithmic and exponential. Once the hypothesis has been uh, clarified and stated then a test will be performed and a p-value will be generated. If the p-value is less than 0 0.05, then there is no linearity and the continuous variable cannot be included in the analysis for binary logistic regression and has to be omitted or removed from the list of predictors. And the test that can be used to find out whether there is linearity or not is the likely Hood ratio test for linearity and the way to do that test is to first of all generate a binary logistic regression model that contains the continuous predictor with any additional uh, predictor such as categorical uh, such as six or uh, occupation or any other predictor then generate a second model that contain uh, uh, both the continuous predictor and the quadratic of the continuous predictor, i.e. multiplying the value in each uh, score in the continuous predictor with itself to get a quadratic. Compare the two models to each other and then using the likelihood test ratio for linearity and if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 then there is no linearity. Here I have an example in which I am testing whether the age is satisfying or fulfilling the linearity assumption to perform logistic regression on a heart disease uh, which is an outcome which is binary or binomial which is dichotomous that have two level in it either you have the disease or not and that's heart disease is the outcome and sex is a predictor and age is a predictor. Sex is a binomial as it can be male or female. Age is a continuous. To check and examine whether an age can be included in the regression model, binary logistic regression model, it has to satisfy the assumption for that test which is the linearity with the outcome, i.e. with increase of the age, there is increase or ratio of having heart diseases. Here as shown from table one is the model one with this continuous variable is generated 
and then another second model which is model b will be uh, generated or constructed by again inserting the predictor for the sex the continuous uh, uh, predictor which is age and then the quadratic form or the multiplication of each value within the continuous variable with itself to generate a quadratic form of that continuous variable so here we have the continuous age and the quadratic forms of it so here we have two models and to compare these models and to find out whether this continuous age predictor fulfill the assumptions for linearity then the likelihood ratio test will be performed and this will generate a p-value for this predictor the age the p-value was less than 0.05 which means that we have to accept the alternative hypothesis which states that there is no linearity between the uh, continuous predictor and the outcome so this uh, continuous predictor age cannot be included in the logistic model as it does not satisfy uh, the assumptions for performing the regression analysis.